Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to a new series of mine. I'm so excited this game is up for all that game. Um, obviously, as you can see, top right corner, <laughs> top right 2007. <laughs> it's that old. That is almost a decade. Decade next month. Wow. But uh, in honor of that, well, I'm gonna say now that it's in honor of that. <laughs> I kind of just wanted to record it for shit. But, you know, I played this game when I was a kid. Tell me if you played it before in, in the comments. I doubt you have because you probably didn't mess around with the big fish game. But uh, let's play because I feel like playing. Play? Season 1. It's kind of like The Office, but it's like a game version. Um, the cubicle doesn't play. I love this game. I miss this game. It's her dirt. It's just Denise's first day on the job. Can she learn the ropes with only one employee to help her? Wow. Let's try. Episode 1. First day on the job. Alright, hello. Weird, this is definitely the address in my acceptance letter. Hello, is anyone here? I mean, he's right there, but okay. <laughs> huh? What? Ah, it is my sorrow to turn away such a stunning young flower. Ew. Oh, also I'm gonna be like, kinda whisper talking because it is 3, 4 in the morning. So, <laughs> I need to be quiet. <laughs> I don't need to wake anybody up. But yeah. Continue. <clears throat> but I'm afraid we're closed. Actually, I was told to report here for a job. I'm the new office manager, you see. Whoa, no way. I mean, how about that? <coughs> also, still a little bit sick. <laughs> yes! A new sexy gazelle in the office. A new challenge. For... I never knew how to say his name. I think it's... Mavier? I think? I think. I don't know. Um, I can still hear you. This is Conkling Associates International, right? Indeed it is, my dear. C-A-I for short. And I am my dear. I think it is. Naturally, you'll need a new friend to show you the ropes around here, right? Uh, sure, why not? My name's Denise, by the way. So does anyone work here besides you? Oh, it's barely past New Year's. We're a small branch office, and everyone's gone home for the holidays. And you just sleep here? Yeah. And you're just here by yourself, sleeping? Well, I didn't feel like going back all the way back to Bombay. It's a 23-hour flight, but if I stay here and hang around the office, I get paid. I see. I didn't know what he just said, damn. Quick, see that long desk in the corner? Yeah, that's my desk. Okay, oh, um, you mean the one over there with the phone? Yep, that's the one. Let me just find the new employee orientation manual. Welcome to your first day at CAI, Denise. You're joining a team providing industry leading solutions for blah blah blah. This stuff doesn't matter. Here's the important part. That long desk is yours, and that document that just appeared on it is a task. The central office sent it over, and they want it done pronto. You'd better go pick it up and put it on my desk. Boop. Boop. There we go. Pretty easy enough. I know how to play this game already. And he's not really good at anything or bad at anything, he's just, you know, decent. Every time I finish tasks, the central office raises our petty cash budget a bit. If we want money to buy snacks and office supplies, I'll have to keep working. New tasks will keep showing up on your desk until closing time. They definitely like to keep us busy. Just keep them coming, cute stuff. Alright, there's a blue one. Gone. All right, you know what? All work and no play makes <laughs> so and so less sexy than usual. Drudging away at this busy work <laughs> is not what's really important in life, is it? We all have other goals. Personally, my plans for today involve sleeping on the couch over there. I know you can help me take a break. Just click on me and then on the couch, and I'll get right on it. Boom. Go to sleep. He's stressed out. That's his stress level. I can feel the stress vanishing from my shoulders already. Wake me up later. Employees like him get a little stressed out when they work on tasks, but they have ways of relaxing too. You can tell that he is less stressed out when the red level of the stress thermometer goes down. Beep. Boop. Uh, to finish the episode and move on in the story, uh, Denise has to help her fellow employees finish their goals. Okay. Um. All right. Hold up. I forgot to set the time, so we're gonna do. No, we're gonna do 10 minutes left on the clock. 
Um, I tried recording another game and it failed because it didn't want to show up for any, re any reason. So I was like, okay, whatever. Bye. I thought I was going to have another new series on my hands, but I guess not. But anyways, um, yep. <laughs> you can see the goals for this episode on the top of the screen. Move your mouse over the goals for more information. Finish napping on the couch. 10 seconds remaining. Eat a donut. One donut. Zero out of one donuts completed. You can also see a list of the goals for this episode by opening the goal info tab. Try opening it now. Yeah. Keep track of the progress by, by watching the goal meters fill up. Okay, great. Uh-oh, you'll get in trouble if you let tasks become overdue. Too many of those on your job? Too many of those and your job might be on the line. <coughs> Denise will become more stressed out when overdue tasks are in the office. If she becomes totally stressed out, you'll have to start the day over. Don't freak out, sweet cheeks. I guess we can deal with that. Pesky task before I get back to more important things. Just drop it on his desk, tell him to go back, basically. Do it real quick. She's unstressing. Uh, he's not really stressing out about this one. I don't know why. I only get through I only got through part of my nap, but that's okay, I'll just pick up where I left off later. Some goals are the kind of thing you have to get done in one day. But beauty see if I can always catch up on tomorrow if we run out of time. And that's all there is to it. Hmm, I think blah blah blah. Uh, good job. We cut through the day, and the office has finally, finally has some petty cash again. Tomorrow I'll show you where to buy donuts. Donuts are half the reason why I stay in this country. Nice. That's the first episode, you guys. Okay, start the second day. Welcome back to another exciting day at your new job. I was hoping to ask you for a favor. Sure, what's up? I don't think I'm going to be able to make it through the day without a donut. Can you go pick up some, please? As you can see from the post-its above, um, he still has a couple goals that he wants some help with. Sometimes you'll see him think about some one of his goals, too. He wants to nap some more and eat a donut. Um, you have as many days as you need to finish all the goals for the episode, so there's no rush. However, if you can finish every single goal fast enough, you could earn a bonus for your performance. We get most of our snacks and office supplies from Office Town. Haha, <laughs> across the street. Take some petty cash and check it out. Denise can use the office budget to buy various items that can boost productivity and lower stress, among other things. So we have $12. Try sending her to the store now. Yep, I'm gonna buy his donut. I've already played this game. I've gotten pretty far. The other levels start to get hard because all the coworkers like don't work with each other well. Three dollars. Presume. Let's drop that off. I'm just gonna kind of speed it up. I already know how to play. I'm gonna drop this off. Whenever an employee finishes the goal, the entire office gets morale boost. Yep. Right now, there's not much effect since Denise and Tozo are pretty relaxed, but it'll come in handy later. Sometimes when employees finish one goal, another one appears. Goals with orange backgrounds are optional. You don't have to finish optional goals to complete an episode, but if you get every goal in an episode, you'll get a bonus star. Thanks, good stuff, that really hit the spot, although now that I think about it, I guess I could squeeze in a couple more, if, I'm really, if I really tried. My only other important goal for the day is to finish my beauty rest. But heck, you're the new office manager, you can decide when it's time for a break. Just go and break. I'll just lay this on your desk for later. <laughs> Until it starts to blink. I'll lay that one there too. That one's gonna appear. Oh, we're done. Great, I finished all my most important goals out of that pizza, blah blah blah. And by job. I'm taking it Okay, yeah. Go back. Go back. She's stressing out. Eat another couple donuts. Let's go to the store and do that. That's the easiest goal there is. Boom. And let's just go drop it off at his desk. There we go. And that task is completed. Yes! <coughs> nice. Um, can you handle it? Timothy's a financial whiz. And a stress case. Keep him chill, but get those tasks done. Another employee is introduced into the office. Fuck yeah. It gets a little more, more complicated, because these two do not mix well. Well, that wasn't so bad for my first day on the job. I think I'm getting the hang of it. It's all kind of strange, though. Mahavir has this whole place to himself. He seems nice, even if he is a bit... A bit suave, a bit sophisticated, with just a hint of mystery and danger. Oh! 
Good morning, sunshine. Don't you do you always talk to yourself when you're alone? Well, only when I'm trying to figure something out, really. All right. I thought I should tell you Timothy's back in the office today. Timothy? He's the office accountant, a real whiz with numbers, so you can give him any financial tasks, the green ones, that come in instead of making me do them. But he's a little, well, oh my, oh my, what's going on? Where is everyone? Hi. Most everyone's still gone for the holidays, remember? Oh. Please, don't call me that. Uh, who's that girl? Where's Pearl? Where's Pearl? Pearl didn't get the job, oddly enough. This is our new office manager, Denise. What? This is very worrying. Do you know what you're doing, as well as Pearl? Can you handle it? Well, yes, I can. I just take the task and I... Oh, the task. You'll have to be quick about that. There's so much work you need to get done. I know there are tasks left over there from before the holidays. I'll be at my desk waiting for them. Waiting. See what I mean? Yeah, he's a little skittish, anxious, a total basket case. Do you have the time to listen to me when... He said basket case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear, I'm worried about him. Uh, oh, don't be. He loves being at work. If he gets too stressed out, just uh, get him to take a break at the water cooler. The water cooler will help an employee lose stress, but it's not as relaxing as other locations. Him, for instance, relaxes best when he's lying on the couch. Every employee has at least one favorite spot. I'm going to rest for a bit, okay? I was out late last night, and I need some more, you know, some more coffee, some more beauty sleep. Of course. But yeah, let's see what the goals are. He's actually bad at art, so I hate when he just slacks off like that. See? They don't mix. Yep, see? They don't mix at all. The jagged red bubble shows you what's bothering him. Keep an eye on his stress level. Remember, he's better at those financial tasks than me. Basically, you're fucked if you don't do it right. Yeah, 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 I know, I understand. Just okay at everything. Good at the financial stuff. Okay. Starts out, starts over every level. Scoring lots of money is only good for the record books. Okay. I always thought that it carried over. Huh. Now that I know that, actually, I, I like that. So he um, relaxes by making microwave be stroganoff. Okay, it's not good microwaving it. I know that for a fact. It's good actually making it. <laughs> I know that because I work at Noodles and Company. Um, likes getting work done. Yeah. Dislikes his coworkers goofing off. So her in the future is going to bug him, and so is him. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, great donuts, coffee. All right, strap you off that. And that. Alright. And that. So he wants to get five tasks done, and he wants to sleep on the couch for 20 more seconds. We can do this. This is easy. Just give me those financial tasks, and he'll pass them off. Uh-oh. He's pretty stressed out. Okay. Okay. Let him just get one more done, and it'll, it'll boost the morale, and then we won't have to worry about taking him to the water cooler anyway. And plus, he'll finish his task in a sec. They're both actually about to finish right now. Perfect. Perfect. We are done with this episode already, and we had 50 seconds left. That is great. Oh, look. Upstage him by doing at least six tasks. Cat at the water. Okay, hold on. Fine. I think that's what I'm going to do majority of the times, is I'm going to try to, like, make the time last. So... The day is half over. Let's go ahead and just overload this guy. And then Timothy can relax at the water cooler for another... Oh, uh, he's not going to make it for this day. So we're going to have to go to two, but that's fine. Come on. Almost there. Five out of six. Five out of six. Come on now. Six. Here we go, here we go, here we go, we got this, we got this. He's gonna boost his morale. He's gonna, he's not gonna make it with the deadline. He starts to ask too late. One second too late, wow. But uh, that's fine. <laughs> so he can go ahead and leave this at his desk. And he'll just come back and finish them. Oh, he did complete it. <gasps> yes! We finished. Hell yeah. 
Oh, well, actually, that means we're going to continue next episode. So I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.